Welcome to an infinite reality of whatever you desire. This is your life. <laughs> I'm just speaking my point of view. So let's say you go to school. All right, you hate it. You know, you didn't want to go. Your parents said, if you don't go, you will be stupid forever, okay? Maybe not like that bluntly, they didn't say that. <laughs> they just said, hey, you're gonna wanna go. You're gonna make lots of friends. The teachers there, you know, will help you learn. And it's, it's really fun. Believe me, you'll need this in life. And the whole time you're like, not wanting to leave in your house, you're like, I don't wanna go. I feel like this isn't for me, you know? Like I'm gonna go there and I literally, what's going to happen? <laughs> And then you go there, you sit, you feel uncomfortable, you see these people you don't know, don't feel any thought of, like, or any form of connection with, and you just don't feel right. And you do that day in, day out, for years and years. And each year it gets worse and worse and worse. Your idea of life crumbles. Whatever you thought you had or desired in life like to accomplish is gone. And from school, yeah, just from school. And then you leave school one day. Say you stop going for no reason. And the reason why you stop going is because you'd rather be nowhere then be stuck in a place for eight hours of your day and then you know when you know you're not getting any value from it then be there wasting your life wasting this existence as what you know it for to be you know i don't know that's maybe just how it is for myself um a lot of kids nowadays there's trouble in school they you know act out they do this or that and you have to start to ask yourself why we do as a society and really just start to think why are children acting out like this why are teenagers and college kids killing themselves and just very awful morbid things you know and it's really because when you think about it school was a structural society all right we formed that as humans we've stuck to it for so long thinking it's working when in reality it's just a spinning circle of like, you know, go to school, get a job, get money, die. And that's not what they tell you when you first start going because at that time you're not, you know, young enough to, or not old enough to understand what that would mean because then you wouldn't go. You would be like, no, I don't want to do that. I want to play on my fucking trampoline. I want to slide down the slide. And so realizing this at that age would be detrimental to the government, you know, people who pay for it and whatnot, and who have formed it into our society and our brains. And of course, you've got to think on the contrast, there are other places, different countries, like I'm in America, so we have standard education, and <coughs> excuse me, a lot of ways that that is not a privilege is that we don't get to base our own form of education on ourselves and what we want, our interests. It's all based off one curriculum. This curriculum is <clears throat> tried and true, so to speak, but really, what is it that they're trying to prove here? Like, what is it that they are successful in? Like, people dropping out, all right? That's, you know, my whole life I've gotten discouraged oh you're going to drop out you know because I didn't go a lot because I didn't like it it wasn't my thing I realized hey I didn't know at the time but I was like I don't want this like this isn't gonna benefit me in the long run and you know I didn't want to be stuck working all the time and so I stopped going <laughs> and of course you know there's I sort of transformed into like a homeschool environment where I could, you know, decide what was going on here and I got what I needed out of those classes and everything and then I decided, okay, well, mm, <laughs> it's all this stuff that my brain doesn't 
conform to. I don't get that. Like, right now, why do I need that knowledge? Like, technology's evolving, I already understand, like, like, the rules that they're supposed to, like, you're supposed to learn from school that isn't, like, a textbook. And that's basically, like, if they just taught that outside of school, in another form of, like, community, it would be a little bit more, uh, I think beneficial to younger kids who have a problem with learning the curriculum and honestly it shouldn't be necessary anyway really we just go to school for social interactions and when you think about when school wasn't around we did that pretty fine <laughs> like we found a way to do that and the only reason people started creating schools is because they wanted money from it they wanted to say, oh, hey, look at this knowledge we collected and we're going to give it to you. We're going to make you pay for it. We're going to make your parents pay for it until you are of legal age. And once you're of legal age, you sort of still are conformed into whatever it was, you know, that path you spent that whatever 10, 12 years on doing. And to me, that is, mm, can be changed. <laughs> Just, yeah, it can be changed. Like loving yourself probably is the most important thing before you put yourself in a situation like that, or a mother, or father puts your child into a situation like that. Like I know, coming from being really shy as a young kid, I wouldn't even speak at school. I felt so just a place of I wanted to literally shoot myself up out, through, out into the sky the entire time I was there and dying inside you know like on the verge of tears literally the entire time like from what I can remember I think I suppressed a lot of those memories because they were not so great nowadays kids are starting to get it anyway like they're like all right what the hell are we doing here I'm not stupid you know like I know how to feed myself I know how to walk I know how to communicate what more do I need to know how to do? We've already built all of our banks. We've already built all of our freaking hospitals. We've already built all of our <laughs> community like gathering areas. So now what we need to start focusing on is teaching ourselves mental peace. Because when you're at peace with your mind, you're at peace with everything else. Nothing that happens will affect you in a destructive way yeah so basically don't let school the idea of having to do something you don't want to do don't let it <clears throat> get to you for too long because you know deep in your heart that is just a structure that we have right now and we're working on where we can go from there and we, you know, it's not too bad. There are people who don't get education, so I just pretty much contradicting everything I said I know, and I'm just saying that because if you feel like there's something that you can't fix um, about your life, or you know, you don't want to keep going anymore because you're getting bullied at school or whatever, like, honestly, that bully is going to have a harder time when you're done with school, all of you, than you are. You're going to come out stronger because of that, and you know, just remember that they're hurting more and all the people who like are getting on your nerves obviously don't have the emotional capacity or ability to understand how you're feeling. So don't want to get to you, keep, you know, your own bubble of happy thoughts, <laughs> awareness, and just continue to grow because that's what we came here to do. <laughs> We came here to this planet to learn, grow, adapt, overcome, and just be who we are and have fun. And not worry about what other people want us to do or if that's going to upset Billy, Jan, Mary Poppins, you know? <laughs> and exactly. Don't worry about what other people say to you. That's a form of what they're thinking. If it doesn't resonate with you, you know, and it just upsets you, if there, unless there's really something wrong there, like, if it really bothers you, look at yourself a minute and say, why did that bother me? And then you could say, alright, well, 
they said, oh my gosh, you know, maybe they told you that your shoes were ugly and, <laughs> or something of that sort, you know, something that offends you and you're just like, you get offensive, like offended all of a sudden and you get really defensive and you're like, hmm, yeah, maybe I didn't, you know, I had a debate with myself against wearing these shoes today, I chose to and you just put me down. Don't fight back with them, just be like, because they're already hurting or they wouldn't have felt the need to say something that you already had the idea of in your head. Like, I already know my shoes are a little weird, so what, you know? Own that. And then, yeah, let them go on in their way and you can just be kind and not hurt your own self by being mean to them because that's really like them kicking you in the shin and you literally falling down to reach them to fight them and that's like why would you want to drop down on the ground when you aren't even up on the ground you know like and they are so that's when someone's being rude <laughs> any other time i'd say find people who get you on a mental level find people who are thinking of your best interests who they have your best interests at heart even if it's like not your family or people you live around right now, don't be mean to them because they are who made you who you are. They love you in the form like no one else can love you in, but there are other connections out there that can be just as strong, if not stronger, and help you and help that other person in a way that your family can never help you, but they already have. They've done their part, your family. And just appreciate them for what they are and who they are and who they've helped you become and, you know, find other people too as well like who actually get you on your level so you don't feel so alone because you aren't alone there's like-minded individuals out there if you're willing to let go of everything that you feel you think you know and just <sighs> embrace this life because it's supposed to be enjoyed and you know it's a blessing not a curse just keep that in mind blessing not a curse anything that's happening to you is happening to make you better it's helping to make you realize everything you're going through is something you will look back on in that the next maybe even the next moment after that and you'll realize oh you'll wrap your head around it okay well that happened to me i didn't like it but i feel like this now and i'm stronger because of it yeah anyway <laughs> thank you very much uh i hope you have a lovely day evening um yeah, happy holidays, <laughs> and may peace be with you. See you again next time. Goodbye.